uh, sometimes mm-hmm. after losing them we feel that uh, okay they, we might have just lived with uh, ayurvedic medicines for another 5 years but in peace maybe <laughs> i know these are very very difficult kind of uh, difficult uh, i would say questions to answer because we keep we keep hoping you know that that this ayurvedic medicine is going to do very well but my thought is always you know when it when when you see a, a big population where it has not worked you know you kind of think will it work then, then the whole thing comes down to the science of it you know if a proper i keep thinking if a proper study done with even these medicines will actually help it open up newer avenues scientifically you know then people will follow it so that's why we keep thinking yes these are very interesting medicines these are interesting concepts they do work on the biology of disease in many ways but they have to be properly scientifically studied you know or doing a good scientific clinical study and trying to see where they may help may be a way forward but till then it becomes very difficult for us to say do this and you will have a benefit for us we still say that's the reason why we don't make decisions ourselves you know that's the reason why all of us rely on cancer guidelines because this is the only way we can answer scientifically that are we all doing the correct thing in the way we which has been proven and that's why all of us as medical oncologists all over the country all over the world usually will follow some cancer guideline we will choose that guideline and then we'll stick to that guideline for that cancer so that's the way i look at it but yes a future clinical study will definitely help answer better 